Hi guys, my name is Tony and welcome to my channel. So, just a bit about myself before I get into the video. I've just finished my first year of medical school in the UK and I'll be going through to second year. I'm an undergraduate so I'm on the five year course or six years if you decide to intercalate. I just wanted to make this channel so I could share my experience of medical school with you guys and hopefully kind of document it as well and give some tips if I can or you know a little bit of advice every now and again. So today I want to talk about five mistakes I made in my first year of medical school. Mistake number one was not trying out more methods of taking notes and lectures or just even revision techniques earlier on. I think it's a well-known fact that the workload in medicine is kind of a lot of why the course is difficult and a lot of teachers will tell you or advisors when you're applying will tell you that the workload's great you're going to need an efficient way of taking notes and i thought i'd found that way of taking notes i really hadn't and i wish i hadn't stuck in my old ways for so long because it would have made my note taking so much more efficient in the earlier months of medical school there isn't one way to revise or to take notes in lectures but you kind of have to play around a bit and find what's best for you so yeah i would definitely recommend taking notes by hand one day taking a laptop in or a tablet you need to find the way that's good for you but you can't do this unless you try out those different ways so definitely try out different ways of learning okay so Number two and three on my list kind of link in together, so I'll mention them together I suppose. Number two is not socialising enough outside of the course, and number three is not joining enough non-medic society. With number two, because of the many contact hours you're likely to have in the course of medicine, it can be difficult to actually keep up or even make friends that aren't medics it's easy to make friends with medics because you know we have the same lecture pattern you know you can talk about the same stuff but it is so important to have non-medic friends and I'm so grateful for the non-medic friends I actually have it just makes your life not all about medicine I definitely think it is important to have a lot or at least some non-medic friends one of the most fun bits about medicine is the fact that it is a really really intense course and you're learning so much about the whole body and how it works and I think initially I was really overwhelmed by this and I had been told by so many people how much work this was going to be so I kind of chickened out of joining non-medic societies especially sports societies because I just thought nope I'm not going to have any time for them I really regret that and second year I'm really planning on at least trying out some more non-medic societies and again when you join non-medic societies you're more likely to meet non-medics. So number four on my list of mistakes I made in first year, I really regret not visiting my friends and family, so my friends who are at uni currently and my family back home. Again, this kind of played in with the time thing that I just saw the workload, the volume of work I had to kind of, and I freaked out and thought that I wouldn't have time to do anything else and I had to be in uni all the time. And even though I wouldn't be in uni necessarily doing work, I just thought that, oh, at least I'm here. If I want to do work, I still can. I missed out on many opportunities to see my friends at uni. My friends are so lovely, they actually came to visit me in I think a couple of months before exams and it really lifted my spirits, I really needed that at that time. And my parents and my sisters have come up to see me many times at university but I really regret not coming home more often because as much as university is lovely and fantastic and you get to meet new people, experience new things, I did miss my family, I did miss my friends from home and I would definitely suggest going to visit your friends and family whilst you're at uni. You know, rail cards, for those in the UK, rail cards are reasonably cheap or free if you open up um, a particular student card. Um, they take a third off your travel, so it already makes the ticket a lot cheaper than it's supposed to be. 
and you just might as well discover your city where your university is but then discover a different city where your friends universities are and the fifth and final mistake i made in my first year of medical school was worrying about knowing enough i definitely think this is the trap that a lot of people fall into medics or not but particularly with my experience of first year i remember sitting in lectures and being absolutely terrified of the fact that everybody else seemed to know more than me that somebody could rattle off i don't know the 10 stages of glycolysis for example and i didn't even know there were 10 stages until they mentioned it to me and i think this is something that people just have to work through and you kind of start to realize that there are going to be some people who just know everything there are going to be people who know more in a certain section of um, your studies than you and you're going to know more than other people in certain sections as well and that's absolutely fine it's coming to terms with this that really really helps you out with um, learning in medical school because you stop being as overwhelmed with the content and we're trying to learn everything you start to realize that you know having a general knowledge and knowing you know specifics here and there is basically what they want you to do in medicine as long as you're revising throughout the year and you're actually making sure that you know what's being said in your lectures or what your medical school expects you to know then first year you actually will be fine always you can always rely on um, second years or just older years at my medical school we get a second year mentor and I'm really excited to be a mentor this year as well but we get second year mentors who actually help us through and give us some tips and tricks that they used they don't actually teach us anything but they kind of reassure us a bit that don't worry you are actually fine as long as you're putting in some efforts and some work then you'll be fine that brings me to the end of this video basically i'm hoping to come back with some more content soon um yeah so i'm hoping to bring some more um medically related and a couple of non-medically related videos but yeah um thank you for watching this video i hope it's been helpful and i'll catch you guys later